why did he buy Twitter? Actually, answer the question on why he bought Twitter. Twitter wasn't the best investment for you to buy. You could have bought hundreds of companies better than Twitter in regards to investment. You know, like, you know, if you were to sit there and say he could have bought a complimentary company to Tesla to bring him in and do X, Y, Z. He could have bought so many different companies. So why do you buy Twitter? He bought Twitter because he was concerned of freedom of speech with all the stuff that was going on. It was a cause-driven thing that he was doing. Okay? No problem. Then, after he bought Twitter, we didn't yet know, because he originally bought 9.2%, whatever the whole Morgan Stanley announcement. You know, Elon is now 92 But he doesn't want to be on the board. He just kind of wants to be on the outside. And, oh, it's going to be all right. Next thing you know, no, he wants to buy the whole thing. But he's not going to be firing the CEO. Nah, it's not really going to be happening. You know, you Professor Galloway comes up. Watch, he's not going to close. All he's trying to do is manipulate the stock, and he's trying to hurt them. No, he ends up closing, and he wants, ah, I don't think it's going to really, he's not going to daily operate. No, he was responding back to everybody, customer service, you can get a hold of him. Oh, my God. God, Elon just retweeted me. Oh, my God, Elon just responded to me. Oh, my God, Elon just liked my tweet. Everybody's like, damn, this guy, how the hell is he doing this? Does he sleep at night? He's at the home office. He's doing, this is, so the whole thing was cause-driven, and then the messaging was for us to get away from relying on advertisers. Then you go hire somebody whose strength is in advertising, you're confusing the audience on why you bought the company in the first place. So to me, the biggest confusion is, why'd you buy Twitter? If you bought it because you wanted to be that person, then this may not be the best person to hire. So ask the question, why? Well, she recognized Larry Fink from BlackRock. What a great job he's doing. And we need to pay attention to ESG. And I don't really know if there's anything really fake news. Fake news is really from the people that are the non-journalists. The true journal journalists from the mainstream media, they don't have any kind of fake news. Seriously, that's against his philosophy of what he's doing. So the, the, the messaging while we sat there, we just hired an editor-in-chief and he's saying, so, you know, what is success for me here? As a success for you here is for us to not need sponsors and advertisers. Right now, we have three major gold companies that are bidding to be the main gold sponsor for uh, uh, for the brand. And we're doing hardcore investigation on who these guys are. And th they're putting some real numbers behind it. So I have heard many people talk about Elon Musk and how he is a champion of free speech. I really do not understand why people would think that way um, because Elon Musk has been flip-flopping from one thing to another since the day he invested in Twitter. At first, he just wanted to invest in Twitter, and later on, he wanted to buy Twitter so they can make it a free speech platform. Twitter wouldn't be something that was for money-making. It would be something that everyone can use and no one will be censored on Twitter like we are going to be free to say whatever we want to say on Twitter. And then finally, we now hear that, no, Twitter needs to get a new CEO and the person they are going to bring in is someone who knows more about getting ad revenue to Twitter. And then you'll be asking yourself, like, what direction is Elon Musk taking this company to? Or what is Elon Musk's own stand on Twitter and if he wants to make money or not. <laughs> it's kind of funny, you know. And for some reason, many people still believe him, like he is a champion of free speech. Elon Musk has been censoring things here and there. And uh, just so we are clear, I do not believe that any corporation can really stand for free speech. And for those of you guys who might be thinking that Twitter is the place where you guys have to go to share your thoughts and opinions, and you truly believe that whatever you say can stand on Twitter, I will assure you that you are mistaken. A hundred percent mistaken. Because there will be rules and regulations on Twitter that if you violate, you're going to be kicked out. All these platforms have rules and regulations. It just depends what they consider as their rule and what they consider as their regulations. But they are rules and regulations. And whenever you said anything that broke any of those rules, you will be kicked out. That is a simple fact. 
and Elon Musk is a business person. All he wants to do is make profit. All he cares about is profit making. He doesn't really care about you. He doesn't really care about free speech. No, he doesn't. Corporations don't care about free speech. What they care about is making profit. That's all what they care about. And if there is a way for them to tweak the rules in order for them to make more profit, they will tweak it. If there is a way they can cajole the freedom of the people in order for them to make more money, they will do it. YouTube has been like so, so strong on certain policies that if you broke, you will be kicked out. Matt Walsh, who is like one of those big YouTubers, has his channel demonetized. Why? Because he broke YouTube rules and guidelines. And those rules are not meant for just him alone. It, it's, they are meant for every person on YouTube. If you do anything that goes against YouTube policy, you will be punished. And that is what will happen on Twitter. Maybe they haven't really put some of those strict rules in place, but believe me, they will roll it in soon. You will see, with a new CEO who is now trying to make Twitter profitable, many rules and regulations will be rolled in. Tucker Carlson, who also made a big announcement about going to Twitter to be posting his stuff, and according to him, Twitter is a free speech platform. Well, he will soon realize that it's not as he thought it to be. Twitter wants to make money, and Twitter will do whatever Twitter can do to make money. But you guys out there, what is your take on Elon Musk flip-flopping on what he really intends to do with Twitter? Do you think that Elon Musk has been forthcoming and straightforward with us, or he has just been playing us for his own amusement? Do you think that he has been telling us what we want to hear without actually believing in it? Let us know in the comment section below, because I always will love hearing what you have to say. And also, please don't forget to like this video, share this video, follow our Facebook page, and most importantly, subscribe to this channel, because little bit of good tweet, like what you're doing just now, help us a lot, and we shall forever be grateful to you. So thank you very much for doing just that. And like always, see you in the next one.